I greet every member of Living Word Assembly all over the world. I say good evening to you all. I greet every believer in Christ Jesus, whatever may be your denomination. And I greet everyone who is a prospect of receiving Christ as he is or our personal Lord and Savior. I want to use this particular opportunity to commiserate with several families who have been bereaved. The ones who have lost children or loved their uncles or loved their aunties by this pandemic virus called coronavirus. It's very unfortunate that such a thing is happening. However, it does not come as a shock because the Lord has promised us that in the last days, there are certain symptoms, there are certain signs that will begin to manifest that will point to the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. And the church and the world have been sleeping. But when such things begin to happen, they are waking us from our slumber. This particular day, I want to encourage us. I don't want to talk much about the devastating effect of the coronavirus. I want to talk more about how we can preserve ourselves, how we can protect ourselves, how we can bring the covering of the Lord upon our lives, that even in the midst of this trying moment, we can still be saved in the hand of the Lord. I want to share with you from Exodus chapter 14. And I'm sharing from verse 13. Moses said to the people, Do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will accomplish for you today. For the Egyptians whom you see today, you shall see no more. The Lord will fight for you, and you shall hold your peace. So also, in like manner that Moses spoke, I speak to you today. Fear not. That is the don'ts of this moment. There is the do's, there are the don'ts. One of the don'ts which you must embrace is fear not. Do not permit fear because that is the greatest weapon that the devil uses when he wants to kill people's dream, when the devil wants to kill people's hope, when the devil wants to kill people's destiny. But the moment you slam the door of faith against the devil and does not allow room for him to operate through fear, you will see that the devil will not be able to have any road into your life. So Moses spoke unto the children of Israel, even though they were covenanted people. He said, do not be afraid. And I want to say to you, whatever you have been reading from the media, from the newspaper, from television screen, please do not be afraid. What are you supposed to do? What are the do's that you must embrace? Number one, stand still. To stand still means to be at peace with yourself and to be at peace with God. You cannot be at peace with yourself unless you learn to dwell in the secret place of the Most High God. That's where Psalm 91 is very relevant. He said, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty God. I want to encourage you to dwell in the secret place of the Most High. When you dwell there, then you will be at peace with yourself and you will be at peace with God. That's number one aspect. And say, and see the salvation of the Lord. What you perceive is what you conceive. What you conceive is what you possess. So I want to encourage you to begin to paint positive pictures. Rather than painting the pictures of death, many are painting pictures of death these days. When coronavirus has not struck them, they have already accepted that they are a victim already. Don't paint the pictures of the negative. Paint the picture of the positive. And you will see the positive happening to you. He said, see the salvation of the Lord. I want you to see the salvation of the Lord. I want you to perceive the salvation of the Lord. I want you to imagine the salvation of the Lord. Every day that you wake up from your slumber, paint the picture of victory. Paint the picture of salvation. 
Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will accomplish for you today. The battle is not any man's battle. The battle is the Lord. All we just need to do is to key on to him. For the Egyptians whom you see today, the coronavirus which you see today, the various plagues that have not been mentioned, because many more are still going to be discovered. I'm not a prophet of doom, but that is the truth. But the more they are being discovered, the more they will fall. All you need to do is to hide yourself in the Lord. Believe that God is greater than any problem that can ever arise. And what happened? Let's look at verse 19. And the angel of the Lord, who went before the camp of Israel, moved and went before them. And the pillar of cloud went from before them and stood behind them. So it came between the camp of the Egyptians and the camp of Israel. And it was a cloud and darkness to one, and it gave light to the other. There is going to be a remarkable difference between you and those who do not have their trust in the Lord. There is the ministry of the angel. If you look at Hebrews chapter 1 verse 14, it says, who are the angels? Are they not ministering spirits who are to minister to the heads of salvation? In this trying period, I want to encourage you to be very conscious about the ministry of the angels. If Jesus, as powerful as he was, could be ministered to by angel after he was tried by Satan, in Matthew chapter 4, we ourselves, we need the ministry of the angels. And I want you to be so much conscious because as much as you continue to release your faith in God, and hold tightly onto God and slam the door of fear against any form of sicknesses or any form of diseases, you will see the angels of protection being let loose on your behalf to protect you, to preserve you, to protect every member of your family. Just like the way they moved, the angel of the Lord moved, the pillar of cloud moved and moved backward. And it became light unto the children of Israel, but darkness unto those who don't have their faith in the living God. Beloved, it is your time to shine in the midst of trial. You will shine. Your star in the firmament will shine. Nothing is going to cover it. Death will not have its punk over you. You will not die. You will live to declare the works of the Lord in the land of the living. The protection of the Lord will be upon you. The protection of the Lord will be a garrison around you. Everywhere you go, the mark of the Lord will be upon you. You shall not die prematurely, but you will live long to declare the works of the Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. God bless you.